Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video we're going to show, be showing how to verify a solution to a differential equation. So a differential equation is an equation that can, contains pretty much one or more derivatives of itself or other functions for a particular variable or um, function um, as said there. Um, some examples of differential equation are your classic like dy dx is cos x. Um, you got, can have combinations of things. So, for example, you get the first derivative minus four lots of the. Um, of the oh, sorry, the the second derivative minus four lots of the first derivative gives you zero. And you can also have a combination like this, where your function is only expressed in y. Um, and yeah, it's probably um, a function of y, and you're trying to pretty much solve that. But you've got to pretty much flip and use separations of variables. Um, a solution to a differential equation is a clear um, definition of a, a function or a relation, so pretty much like y equals x squared would be 1, etc., or anything like that, pretty much. Okay. So in this video, we're just going to be showing you how to verify solutions. We won't be actually finding the solutions, just how to verify them. Okay. So let's just take a look at this first example. So verify the solution that this um, function is a solution to this differential equation. Okay. So first of all, let's just get my um, pen out real quick. Uh, I need that color. Okay, so dy dx is equal to x plus y. So this is what y is. So straight away, I need to find what dy dx is. So I've got to differentiate this. So I'm going to have dy dx. Differentiating this, I'm going to just have a e to the x minus 1 um, will be here because if I differentiate, um, minus x is going to turn that um, negative 1 and my 1 is going to vanish, okay? So at the moment I've got dy dx is equal to x plus y. I know what this is, it's going to be a e to the power of x minus 1. x I can place here and my y is this function here. So I'm going to have plus a e to the x minus x minus 1. And we can see those cancel out. So you get a e to the x minus 1 is equal to a e to the x minus 1. So in other words, your left hand side is equal to your right hand side and that's about it so that's how you verify this particular solution let's try another example so verify the solution to that this is a solution to this differential equation now you notice these differential equations can look pretty hefty but verifying the solution is pretty easy because all you're doing is finding derivatives which have basic um, properties where it's like all right it's a chain rule product rule quotient rule um it's exponential function it's an oil um any Euler function, a log function, stuff like that. So first of all, I can see I need the first derivative, the second derivative, and I know what y is straight away. So differentiating this, I'm going to have dy dx. We can see it's an Euler term, so differentiate the inside. I'm going to have 2, and then leave the rest of it, so e to the 2x. Okay. Now we're going to find that second derivative, so I've got to differentiate the first derivative. So differential of this is going to be um, 2 times by 2 will be 4 e to the 2x okay so here i have the first the second derivative plus the first derivative minus six lots of y should be equal to zero so i could substitute substitute the second derivative into here so i have four e to the 2x plus the first derivative which is two e to the 2x minus six times by this so e to the 2x okay so I can see I'm going to have 6e to the 2x minus 6e to the 2x equals 0. Those cancel out, so I get 0 equals 0. So in other words, left-hand side is equal to right-hand side. And that's that one proven as well. Okay? So let's do this final example for this video. So verify the solution that this here is a solution. So I'm assuming a and b are both numbers. And I'm going to use b as a capital because otherwise it looks like I'm um, 6s. Um, that this is a solution to this differential equation here. Okay, so it's actually very similar to the one, actually it's identical to the previous differential equation. If we take a look here, it's exactly the same equation. So there's more than one solution, but we're just verifying that this is a particular solution. So we can see I've got to find the second derivative and the first derivative. So differentiating this, dy dx, differentiating this term, um, the differential of 2x is going to be 2. So I bring that 2 down the front. So I have 2a e to the 2x, Plus, differentiating this, I'm going to have minus 3b e to the minus 3x. Now I've got to find that second derivative, so differentiate that again. And this first term, I'm going to bring that 2 down the front, so I have 4a e to the 2x. 
bring that minus 3 down the front, so I have positive 9b e to the minus 3x. And now we can substitute into our differential equation. So we'll have uh, that's, um, 4a e to the 2x plus 9b e to the minus 3x. So that's my first derivative plus, uh, sorry, that's my second derivative plus my first derivative, which is 2a e to the 2x minus 3b e to the minus 3x. Now I've actually run out of room, so I'm going to write this part down here now. So minus 6 multiplied by y, which is a e to the 2x plus b e to the minus 3x brackets equals 0. So this is my left hand side and this is my right hand side here. Okay, so writing here, I'm going to have 4a e to the 2x plus 9b e to the minus 3x plus 2a e to the 2x minus 3b um, e to the minus 3x minus 6a e to the 2x minus 6b e to the minus 3x equals 0. So I can see what are like terms. That's a like term with this. And that adds together to give 6a e to the 2x. But that can get cancelled with this term here. So those terms are all gone. Then I'm going to have 9 minus 3, which is going to give me 6b e to the minus 3x. And that's going to cancel with this one. So that all cancels out. So in other words, I get 0 equals 0. And that verifies it's a solution to this differential equation. Um, and that's all about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this quick video. Um, if you did, um, like and subscribe and share with others.